now tuned in to The Frame Show. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Friends with The Frame Show. You know how we do, bringing that flavor to your ear. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Somebody bring me a beer. Man, we ain't here chilling with uh, one of Norfolk, well, not Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Virginia's own Nine Rated Beats, man. What's good? Yo, what's good? What's good? I'm just chilling, man. You doing all right today? I'm feeling good, man. Got a beer. I'm chilling. Yeah. So, you know, shout out to you for bringing me a beer. You know, I keep telling y'all bring me a beer. And, you know. For sure. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, COVID-19 is happening. And uh, it is definitely uh, it's definitely a struggle out here. Right. right. Can't even get a beer without someone coughing. Right. <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, definitely dope that we were able to... Uh, at least get together to do the interview. Um, we've been, I guess, I don't want to say we've been pushing to try to do one for a while. We've just kind of, nah. we've been doing a lot of things and uh, it's only right, I guess, right it's now. It's been busy, man. It's been a busy, uh, it's been a busy 2020 so far for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah I've had a lot of things going on. Yeah, definitely. Um, so jumping into things, you know, before we get too deep into uh, right now. Um, for sure. You want to tell everybody where you're from? Yeah, man, I'm actually, uh, I'm from Virginia Beach, uh, so 757, born and raised, um, lived here all my life, played sports, right. you know, I didn't even get into music, really, until I was, I mean, I played guitar when I was little, but, right. man, I, music is like a whole new thing for me, for real. Okay, it's yeah. completely different. That's dope. Um, so when do you think you started getting into music? Uh, my dad had me in guitar lessons when I was like, maybe six, but... I was all about electric guitar and like I wanted to be a rock star and like, right, crazy right. things, but I couldn't even play a simple chord on an acoustic guitar. So, <laughs> you know, I was hey. I was trying my best to to be you know the next you know the next big thing when right. I had no idea how to even hold a guitar. Right. So uh, I gave up pretty quickly, and then I realized it was a pretty big sex appeal for girls in my high school, and they all wanted to <laughs> right. they all wanted to know like who's. Who's an instrumental like? He's yeah. got all the instruments. Right, who's, yeah, playing? who's playing? Yeah. Who's playing something awesome? Who's on the guitar? Yeah, who's on the drums? Like, yeah. <laughs> so I started learning how to play guitar with uh, one of my buddies, and he was better than me, so I wanted to be better. And right. I right. kept going. I kept going. I kept going. And um, sooner or later, um, uh, I joined the military. Right. And blessing yeah. in disguise, man. Like yeah. I, I, I never thought I'd find music there, but I brought my guitar, and I was just posted up in the barracks. You know, for all y'all that don't know what barracks are, it's literally a little tiny dorm room with a bed that you may or may not share with somebody else <laughs> when you're off. But, um, yeah, so uh, shout out to my boy V2J because he found out that I play guitar and he, you know, saw I was like looking at beats online and stuff like that. You know, shout out to all the YouTube producers. Right, right, There's for sure. 900 million of them, but only five stand out. But. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, um, before you jump right into that, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, talking about producing and stuff, right? Um, so you will be definitely the first producer that we had on the show, I'm which sure. is uh, super right. dope, you know? Right. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it kind of ties right into, you know, artists and stuff like that. But yeah. um, uh, being on the producer side of things, I'm sure you see things a lot different than uh, the artists do, you know? Um, some things the same, but yeah. you see other aspects of things. And and, sometimes um, my opinion doesn't even matter, you know, like... Yeah, no, I get they, that. I mean, they're gonna, they enjoy that I have uh, an opinion, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter. Right. So I'm guessing, like you were saying, you know, start with the guitars, the instruments and stuff. Um, when you joined the military and everything, that's when producing came. That's, that's when I learned how to make beats for the first time man right. when i had no idea what software even was right i'm right, just sitting here right. like what is fruity boots <laughs> right yeah, like yeah. My, my buddy you know v2j um me and him were stationed together and up in uh, ocean city maryland okay and the dude <laughs> he is a he's a wizard man um me and him are actually uh we're working on some stuff too but that guy i mean he showed me how to make you know, beats, show me how to do a couple things here and there, and I owe everything to him. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am now That's what's if it wasn't for that guy, so. Yeah. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah, facts. Thank you, because we needed this. No. I'm in Scotland. <laughs> right, yeah, no, that's what's up. Um, it's good to kind of have, you know, you always have that person, you know, somebody, usually you'll have somebody that uh, 
kind of open the door for you. Yeah, you know what I mean? everybody's got a mentor. Yeah, yeah, for sure, mentor. And mentors are important, you know, because yeah. um, it's, it's always good to uh, have somebody that has some experience in whatever it is you're trying to do. Definitely. And uh, can kind of give you, you know, you, I don't think you should always take everything and be like, oh, I'm going to do this exact way that you did it. Yeah, know? no, everybody's going to put um, their own flavor on it. Right, but yeah, it's good to have somebody that can give you those, like, little bits and pieces, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but, uh, so, you know, you joined the military, you're, you're not in the military now though, right? No, no, I'm out right. now. Right, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm still in, you know, uh, still Could doing my due, <laughs> dil due, dil uh, due diligence, if I can speak correctly, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, definitely a military lifestyle. Uh, you meet so many different kinds of people. You go to a lot of different kinds of places, yeah, you know, I, like, I can't even explain uh, the amount of different types of people you meet in the right, military. Right, yeah. And so not only that, like, you know, the, the, the military brotherhood, right, will bring yeah, you together, course. but uh, music is something that, you know, yep. kind of brings a lot of people together. Yep. So uh, music's pretty dope when it comes to, for sure. you know. Um, but uh, so now that's, that's how long has that been? Now you've been, you've been producing for what? So I can say I've been a beat maker for, I'd say, a solid three and a half to almost four years. Okay. But calling myself a producer working with artists hand like you know hand in hand like having right. them around me all the time and um thinking the way they do right. to make an actual song not just a beat right um i can say it's been about a year and a half almost two years okay so no i don't um well you've definitely you know done a lot uh, at yeah. least since the time i've known you yeah and that hasn't even been a year yet so <laughs> like uh it's, no, it's, man, every day is every day is a growth uh, yeah no I, i've seen a lot of progression since the first time we met uh which before then, I think I had started seeing you online, you know, here and there. Yeah. And then we met at the um, uh, one of Frequencies uh, meetings, I yep. believe it was. Yep. And after that, man, like, um, I know I had some ideas for some things. And I was like, who will fit into this? You know, like, I, I yeah. always try to, like, pick people that, you know, it makes sense for everybody. For sure. You know? yeah. uh, and, and, and going into when I decided to do the cypher. Uh, yeah. We wanted to, as much as we could, keep everything with, like, local uh, yeah, people. Yeah, let me just say, know? like, that was that was a really cool experience for me, you know? Like, I've, I've had one person on a beat before, you know? Right. I've had two people on a beat before, but I've never had, like, a, a group, you right, know, like, right. four people. Like, that was something new, and, like, it wasn't just rappers, you know? There was a, a podcast, you know, the French right, show. Like, right. it, was, it was something bigger, you know? Right. We did a music video, and, like, everybody was all involved, and... Yeah. you know friends you know came to support like right you know i mean it was it was cool man like Super just dope. being being in an environment where everybody had a, a like mind like a like mindset right but everybody was completely different yeah and everybody, everybody was so came random, together right? and made like one giant project you know right. it, was, yeah. it was really cool to see that come together yeah for sure man i i was uh i had a good time with it man i i had a vision you know like yeah. for doing it and um I think, you know, the day that, I think we might have been at like Buco or something for Virginia's Got Talent. And I was like, I was like, yo, bro, come here. I need to talk to you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I, you know, I, I really, even at that time, I didn't really know quite of where I was going to go with it. But um, I knew I was like, I, you know, I think you could be the one, like, you know, coming from a producer standpoint, I was like, bring you in on this and like, yeah. you know, have you involved. Uh, yeah, it's definitely and, uh, appreciated. Yeah, you know, and like, and I didn't want it to feel like, oh, we just got you to make a beat, like, you know yeah, what I mean? Because no, we could have did that from anybody. You it know was a mean? production, yeah. Man, you know? So, so getting you there, like, especially like when we did the video and everything, yeah. like, I was glad that you were able to, you know, make it out and be a part of that. You For know? sure. Um, so, and and just and not only with that, you know, we've worked together on quite a few things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even since then, you know, um, and going into what just here recently. Uh, we got the, you know, the COVID-19 rap contest. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to be a tough one, man. Make sure y'all lube up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're all good. He's, he's yeah. drunk. He's chilling. He's, he's chilling over there, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, you want to talk about that just a little bit? Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to everybody. Like, we actually we actually just did the whole the whole live, you know. Like, that, right. was, that was cool, you know, seeing everybody chime in and... Uh, there was some heated rivalries. Oh, in there, yeah. but, uh, like the comments were going crazy. Yeah. Man. So uh, shout out to Disco and Trippy for that one. Um, <laughs> they hate each other. I don't know if it's hate, but either way, yeah. it looks like yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they so don't maybe, like each other. Maybe they love each other. Uh, who knows, That's man. how they show it. You know? <laughs> but um, nah, man. Shout out to everybody that came in and participated, and uh, 
you know, put on for their city. Right. Um, wherever you're from, you know, I got one dude out in Denver. Um, I believe the guy out in Cali, uh, Sir Stan, I'm pretty sure he's from uh, San Francisco. Right. Um, there was dudes down in what, Georgia. Yeah, Georgia, yeah. yeah so, yeah. I mean, of course I have all my local, my local artists that I, you know, I talk to on the regular, so. Right. Um, yeah, man, I mean, it was a good turnout. Oh, we had the dude from Alaska, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Little YMBF, man. Little YMBF, man. God, man. Uh, Shout out to you, little, your mama's boyfriend. What a character. Yeah, what a character. He's a weird, he's a funny guy, man. Uh, <laughs> His, his, his submission was definitely entertaining. I, I can honestly say it was the funniest one out of all. Yeah, definitely. It definitely was. If you can you put know. a smile on my face, you're closer to winning. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, the, the contest was dope. There was a lot of dope uh, yeah. Um, people. Yeah, it was definitely um, awesome. So um, I'm stoked for whoever wins. Right. Uh, you know, cash money in your hand. Exactly. Or cash app, you know, right. if you're far away. But, right, right. But, you know. Um, interview on deck. Actually, know, no, screw that. I'm not, I'm not doing the whole hand sanitizer slapping cash in your hand. Like, <laughs> right. I'm cash apping you. I'm, I'm not, cash app, yeah. I'm not leaving my room. <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. Um, no, nah, yeah. Uh, so, do you, you did one of these contests uh, before this one, too? Yeah, right? um, I did a previous contest. Um, this was definitely a, a way more... Uh, thought out process right. the second one right. it was so much more smoother to run because I already did the first one it seemed easier but um for the most part you know I I can definitely say that this was a uh it was a solid it was a solid turnout man right. uh, I enjoyed this to the fullest for sure yeah no I had a good time uh, being involved with you um mm -hmm. Um, I'm glad that, you know, if nothing else, I could help judge or, you know, yeah, no, whatever. Uh, you contributed yeah. a lot, so. Yeah, we did, you know, we put together that video. Uh, it was hilarious. You yeah, know, it was a fun yeah. time, man. It was good, yeah. Um, and, and just getting, you know, seeing all the submissions come in and, and um, you know, everybody's tagging, you know, all the tagging here and there. And, like, it, it was just cool, you know, and kind of getting, for me, um, you know, I, I love uh, seeing new artists that I've never heard before and stuff like this. I'm all about like finding uh, new, something new, yeah, something definitely. different, you know. I mean, I, I love uh, that. Yeah, for it's sure, right? Yeah. The person I can produce for. Right, exactly. Um, so getting to see these, all these different guys that, that uh, came and, and sent in a submission and stuff. Definitely. And that was super dope, you know. Yeah. That was really dope. I just, I just, in all honesty, as a producer, like, I can speak for probably 100% of every producer out there. Right. Like, you you just want to hear your music. Right, You want yeah. to hear somebody rap over your music. So, right. regardless of who gets $100, who gets the 50, right. who gets the 25, like, right. it doesn't matter. Like, I honestly enjoyed seeing everybody, right. you know, exactly. make something on my track. Right, You know, For it sure. wasn't just somebody, sure. like, a random rap contest where they send in, like, some YouTube beat and you recognize the tag. It's like... You know that every every time it said non-rated drop that right know, like exactly just it went in yeah so I like for it. sure yeah that that's a, I know that's got to be a dope feeling you know, yeah like just hearing hearing it all come together and like you know sitting there thinking like well I wonder I wonder how many we're gonna get or I wonder who's if anybody's gonna do it because you always go yeah I mean think you gotta about you gotta that, nudge people because nobody you, nobody just goes out of their way and just like right yeah hops on anything right. you know they gotta trust you they gotta right. think like. Oh, okay, like, oh, he's doing a rap contest. Because, like, the first one, not a lot of people, like, really hit me up at right. first. You know, I had to yeah. push it. Exactly. And uh, once I started seeing, like, a couple people enter in, then it picked up a little bit. Like, right. then they're like, ooh, like, ooh, we should get in here. This, this guy's in here, like, you know. Right, you know, yeah, This goes yeah. on this. You know, right. Sweet T's in here. Like, I know them. You know, I'll hop on. Right. And then, like, some random dude out in, out in Denver. And, like, now, like, I consider him, like, somebody I talk to on, on a, a normal basis. Right. For so, sure. So, um. I mean, it's cool, man. Yeah. It's just, I mean, you meet one person and it opens up avenues to... Right, yeah. Open, all, all about opening doors, you know. So. And picking the door to go through, yeah. I guess. Um, well, well, moving on from that a little bit, um, who, who can you say some, some of your influences? Do you have any, like, big influences? Yeah, man. So, I was really, really big into, like, the underground hip-hop movement. Right. When, uh, I guess you could say they've been doing it, like, they were on Dat Piff. So okay. I started scrolling on that for a little bit because right. I knew that's where all the OGs were. Right. So I started going through there and uh, I found Chris Webby. Okay. And I actually had the pleasure to meet him uh, about uh, nine nine months ago. Right, right. And he came to Virginia Beach and I mean that was dope. So I Super got to, dope. Yeah. I got to meet him. You know, talk to him for a little bit and 
get an autograph, this and that. And uh, I also got to meet one of my other favorite artists, uh, Jaron Benton. Right. So those two dudes are probably like the biggest influences when I say, like, I love hip hop. Right. That's. Those are my go-tos. Dope, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're both, uh, both of those guys are really dope. Uh, yeah, they, they spit. Yeah, and they're, they're kind of like, they're like on the underground scene, but they're, you know, they're, they're still... They're almost, ma like, I know Chris Webby's kind of mainstream. Like, he just right. did um, uh, Justine, Ballin I forgot her name, uh, the girl on Wild Mountain. Yeah, yeah, Redhead, Redhead yeah. yeah. She just, he, I mean, I think her name is Justine. Yeah, I, I think it is I don't Justine. want to butcher it. Yeah. I feel bad Whatever. if I did. Whatever, she'll be all right. <laughs> But uh, pay us, and we'll get you <laughs> we got you, girl. Got you. But uh, yeah, he just did a um, he just did a track with her a few months back, sweet, yeah. And that was, I mean, that was dope. So, I mean, that's mainstream if you don't, right? I don't think so. And he's yeah. the only independent artist that I can really say is you know that high up, right? On that kind of level, right? Yeah, uh, independent is, is definitely a big thing. I was talking with somebody the other day about it, and um, you know, there's so many. Nipsey Hussle was independent. Yeah, you know what I mean. No one really and, knows that. Like Nipsey is like to me, and I had this conversation is, you know, people talk about uh, the greats. You know, they always Tupac, yeah. Biggie, Jay Z, yeah. Eminem, like uh, names like that. You know, and I always feel like man, like like Nipsey to me is in that he should be in that category for sure. Uh, he's definitely a great, um, and he was fully independent. You know yeah. what I mean? Like he. The dude did it, did all you, of it. Like, he came up and sold. Like, you don't think about that though. Yeah, like and it's crazy like that. You can, as for an artist, artists can do that. You know yeah. what I mean? You can make that impact and, and actually, like, you don't need to have. You don't always have to have that uh, that big label come in and give for you sure. the front of that money. You it's know? nice though. It's nice to get, <laughs> you know. Uh, but you know, you just, you know now you're stuck. You gotta you gotta make that money back. You know what I mean? But. Um, it's it's definitely dope, you know, talking about independent artists because you know Jordan Lucas is is independent. I didn't know that. Yeah, Jordan Lucas. Jordan Lucas is independent. He, I believe he had got a some sort of some sort of deal he had got with Atlantic, I think, or something. Mm. But I believe it didn't work out. I mean, you gotta, you and, gotta think though, like, like if you're that big, like with a name like that, yeah, and like the world knows you, you're, you're not independent. I mean, he's got yeah. he's got something. Everybody's well, got you know, every, everybody's gonna have some sort of deal, but he doesn't. Have, he's not like signed to a label. Yeah. He's not like a signed. No, true, true, true. True, true. That makes sense, you know. Uh, which I think is is dope because I think you yeah. know independent is the way to go. I feel that. Um, I'm not against labels. You know, you get your right deal, but if you can do it, you know, I always I've always been told that if it gets to the point where the labels coming to you yeah. wanting to sign you, you don't need them. True. You true. know. Um, but maybe you do. Maybe your situation means you do because maybe it's the maybe it is the money that you need. You know, the labels are able to. Like, you know, that's how the, the big artists they drop something. Yeah. It just gets put everywhere it, See, immediately. You know, what to I mean? me, it's it's more about being accomplished right. than trying to get money out of a situation right. because I'm money driven. Like I know how to make money. Right. I never had a problem doing that. I right. Can, I can go find a job. I can go right. do something. Right. But I'm never going to get to that next level with my music unless I have somebody to show me how to get to that next level or right. if I figure it out myself. Right. So I think a big thing, and, and this would be, you know, my opinion, is uh, you're going to find that one artist, or maybe it's not just one artist, you know, that uh, is going to start fucking with you and get sure. on, be getting on your beats, and yeah. you guys are going to, like, you know, Grow into something together that you know the artist. Shout out to the together. artists in the, in the seven five seven because um, y'all. I mean, mainly the ones that have been in Virginia Beach is a lot easier to reach with y'all. But um, right. but y'all coming through my studio and like dealing with my crappy equipment, you know, <laughs> going here and there trying to figure things right. out. But um, you know, I'm upgrading. You know, thank God. Man. But um, about time, man. About yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> but no, shout out to y'all for coming through and always doing stuff with my. Uh, you know, come through my crib and make music. Right, yeah, for sure. Shout out to the artists, man. Damn Starving right. artists out here. Yeah. Exactly. That's what they call them. Uh, I've, I've dealt with so many artists out here from rappers to you know, singers and, and yeah. different things. Like, um, I've had a few singers. Which pop is, it's something pop new artists. Me, you know? Like, it's crazy, man. Yeah. There's a lot, of, a lot of talent out here in Virginia. For sure. Yeah. Um, we did an interview with um, Christy K. She's a, uh, a pop artist from oh, yeah. out here. Um, right. Super dope chick, and like she has she has this energy about herself. She's like, 
she's like this amazing energy. Like yeah. when she's when you're around her, you just feel good. Like I don't know, like I'd there's have to something meet about yeah. We, we definitely should. Well, it's gonna be hard. She's actually like out on tour right now. Oh wow, yeah, how's that going? She's uh, I think she's stuck on the bus. You know? <laughs> that like, sucks. Uh, yeah, but she's doing her thing. I see yeah. her get on live quite often and stuff like that. Sure. You know, um, but she's definitely a dope chick, and uh, it was something I talked to with her. Is like, it was like on any not now because of quarantine, but yeah. on any given night of the week, just about you could go somewhere and, and hear live music. You know, what really? I mean? Yeah, like here in Virginia, here it's in the Hampton Roads area, just about every night of the week, you could go somewhere and hear almost any genre of music you wanted to hear live. Like there's somewhere, somewhere somebody is playing almost every night of the week. Like still playing like with quarantine. No, not oh, during oh, quarantine. No, 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 no. I was, no, like, no, 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 no. I was like, who? I'm saying that. I, need to, like, no, I no. need to get out of the house. Sorry, no, no. <laughs> but when quarantine wasn't happening, you know, um, like literally every night of the week, there's something out here going on, and you know, there's a lot of talented people. I feel that. Yeah. Yeah, I've had the pleasure of meeting plenty of artists in the area, and. You know, I can only hope that I meet more before I move. So right, right. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun, fun summer. Right. Yeah. Once, once this whole quarantine's over. Right. Yeah. Hopefully it's over soon, man. It's, oh, it's dude, getting crazy. I'm, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> um, so, uh, real quick, if you had to pick one artist that's your favorite local artist, who would it be? Um. Would I say like favorite artists to work with or favorite artists to listen like to their them. music? Their music to listen to. Um, man, that's that's Tough, hard. Man. We're gonna start the pot up a little bit. Yeah, get know, things right? shaking, you know. Because I'm tied between like probably about three people. Yeah. Um. Man. Um. Well, one, one for sure. Uh, too young. I really enjoy working with him. I enjoy his music. I enjoy his flow right. and how open he is to critique. Right. He doesn't like it, but he's open to it. Yeah. Um, then I'd have to say next one would be uh, Lost in the Smoke. And then right after that, my boy, uh, my boy Josh. Cool. Yeah. Hosh. Hosh. Oh, I said it right that time. Oh, nice. Hopefully. We said it right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, pay us. We'll say it right. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I always yeah. known as Josh. I just never... Yeah. I never paid any mind. Right, right. Yeah. No, that's dope. I, I think uh, Chu Young is definitely a really dope artist. Um, lately, I, 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 I'm watching him, you know, uh, start to put stuff out and, you know, be yeah. in, involved. Like... Um, I've seen I've seen something in him, you know what I mean? That that kind of uh, it's, it's different uh, because a, a switch went off. You he's know so I mean? he's so used to just spitting, right? And just going like hardcore balls to the wall, like I'm gonna rap. Right. And then I brought out like a different side, like in a, a couple of beats where he was like ready just to go crazy on. Right. And I was like I was like yo, let's make a let's make a hook. And like that's right. where I love like the producer side. Right. You know, because like you hear something. You hear something completely different. Right. So then you meet in the middle and you find something that just it snaps. For sure. And mm -hmm. that's why I like working with him because he's so quick to get bars. Right. And you know, after you know he's got those bars down, that's when you start meeting in the middle and you Definitely. start working on a hook and stuff like that. And yeah. It's really cool because you know just cooking up. That's that's cool in general. Like you want to make something dope, and I feel like he's he's patient. A lot of people like they'll look at you and they'll stare at you the whole time, like, right, right, like, yeah. How long is this yeah. gonna take? <laughs> right, yeah. You doing all right over there? What are you, you doing? Nervous? Man? Come on, like, right, are you gonna figure out what this melody's gonna sound like or not? Right. right, yeah. So that's like the worst feeling, yeah, when uh, someone's just staring at you and they're not writing, right, and you're just waiting. Oh, yeah, so it's like looking through your soul, dude. In I can honestly say the only person that has never didn't look like they liked it, right. But came out and killed the track and loved that track right. was Disco. Okay. And um, shout out to Disco the Rebel. That dude, he was staring at me and like he was like watching me do the process and stuff like that. And I thought he did not like the beat. Right. And uh, sure enough, I was just like, I was like, Yo, do you do you like this? And he goes, he goes Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> didn't say anything after that. I was, just like, I was like, I was like, oh, okay. Some, <laughs> some people's process is different. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, so like you just you see people say like, oh yeah, it's fire, and like there's no facial expression, right. and then you see like a week later when they send you like the product, right. you know, like the rough draft, and right. you just like, bro, you were you had this, <laughs> you had this in the vault, right, you, right? You weren't you weren't telling me anything in the process, right. like Dang, I was like, come man. on, man, I yeah. need to know these things. No, yeah, that's what's up. So. Um, yeah, so yeah, I think that you know, good picks there. Uh, uh, Lost in the Smoke is definitely a dope artist. Yeah. I, I, He's got a lot of good, good music out. He was honestly one of the first artists to come through my uh, my studio and actually work with me. So Sweet. I give him a lot of props for being one of the first to, you know, open me up to right. bringing people over and working with him. Right, right, for sure. Um, well, you know, what's uh, what's what's the next move right now, man? I know you got some things you're about to do. Yeah, man. So uh, what's the next move? Um, I'm I'm moving to Orlando, man. I'm going to school for audio engineering. Right. I'm gonna. Continue to grow. That's just the only. I want to keep growing, man. I want to sure. learn. I want to learn something new every day. So I just, I've expanded my studio a little bit. I have things coming in the mail. So I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna start, you know, playing around with it, learning some things. Maybe put out a couple of songs myself and see if I hey. sound, sound cool or not. <laughs> now I'm ready to go spit some bars yeah, for y'all. Yeah, you never know. But yeah, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn, try and do things. Because right. if I can make myself sound good, I know I can make another rapper sound amazing. Right. Yeah. For sure. Because I'm not sure. a rapper. Right. I'll make that very clear. Yes, yeah. I'm not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's dope though. I mean, it's have fun with it, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that a lot of times, well, maybe not all the time, whatever, but I think some people like forget to like have fun with it. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. um, it gets to the point where it's like, you know, you you want to do it so bad and like you want to be, you know, on top or yeah. whatever. Like, yeah. but and, and you kind of lose sight of like have fun, man. Like. Do it. You're doing this because you love doing it, right? That was like, all you started. You know what I mean. So sometimes I think it's good for someone, an artist, to maybe step back and and, and just think about things like that. You for know sure. what I mean? And, and and make sure you're having fun doing it. You yeah. know, don't, don't force it. Like when you force it, usually it don't work out. Man, <laughs> you know. Nah, I've learned that pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I live by like just kind of letting things happen naturally. You know. I like it. Um, I, I, you know, there's a time and place where things, you know, you have to like do things right to make sure something happens. But, for sure, man. Uh, but for the most part, man, like just kind of letting things naturally take course, and, and you know, yeah. Uh, for us, like with with linking with people or doing certain interviews or I mean, that's, or helping people. That's how like, music is made, man. You can't force a situation, right? Just like you can't force music, right? You know, and those go hand in hand because when you meet that person. And you come off like really weird and creepy, right. which no, that's how sure. I used to come off like when I first started going <laughs> like, to hell, West dude? Beach Tavern. I was, I was like, oh yeah, I'm a producer, like, you know, fuck with my music. And right. everybody's just like looking at, oh yeah, that's cool. Like, I don't know who you are, but right, you know, right. I'll get your Instagram and yeah. you never hear from them. But then right. like, you know, shout out to, you know, Too Young, Dago, you know, Lost and all them. Like, I, I'm not going to name everybody. A lot. Right, yeah. But, um, you know, they all, they all met me that night. And they all grew with me and like i'm still talking to them so like Super dope. it's cool you know and uh when you first start talking to them like they look at you like oh yeah that's cool like you know you right. have no idea who you are so any producer that goes out to their local area and you know the first thing you say is i'm a producer the rapper's eyes are going to light up for a minute but if you don't say anything <laughs> that catches their eye right. later on they're going to forget you so right. establish a relationship yeah make, yeah. make sure they know who you are right because if you walk away just saying i'm a producer non-rated beats you would be like oh cool something oh, you remember that rated guy yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. So something about like my <laughs> my clothes were rated i don't know right, right. i'm jaded now something oh like man that. i'm getting faded <laughs> <laughs> but nah man can we like, just make a song right now yeah, exactly like, right. <laughs> anyway um but nah super dope man uh well we're getting right to the end of this uh we're gonna have to wrap things up but um where can everybody find you? Uh, Non-rated underscore beats on Instagram. That's pretty much my only platform right now. Right. I'm probably going to have to start expanding a little bit right. um, and putting my music elsewhere. But uh, Sweet. N-O-N-R-A-T-E-D underscore B-E-A-T-S. Sweet. I'm yeah. trying to think about how to spell beats. Right. <laughs> um, so for you know anybody that artists and stuff that are out here that you want to, you're looking for a producer, you're looking for some music, you want something different, you want to, you know, uh, just kind of try some things out, man. Hit up now, rate it. He's got, he's got some beats. I'm man. leaving. Right. And yeah. once I'm gone, man, like you can you can work with me, but it ain't gonna be in right. person. So hey, especially locals. If you're local, like you might as well hit him up, like because it's you know 
uh, definitely uh, dope time and something cool. I mean, look, I, I went in there with you. We cooked up yeah, some beats, I mean, like you know, done like, some fun stuff, man. Yeah, like it's it's always a good time, you know, and um, and it comes out fire. So For sure. I mean, shoot, who knows what's yeah. coming in the future? You know what I mean? <laughs> you never know, man. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, man, uh, any last shout outs or anything you want to give real quick? Just shout out to everybody that, uh, you know, participated in my competition and, uh, you know, put an effort in to, you know, tell me how much it changed them throughout the process. Um, not necessarily a contest, but like just me working with you. Um, right. Anybody that's ever, you know, stood out and made something with me and made it known that they made something with me. You know, gave me a shout out. Like I like that. That's awesome. So right. I fuck with you guys. And yeah. also, of course, again, shout out to V2J because without that guy, um, you know, you guys wouldn't have beats. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So shout out to him for sure. V2J, right? V2J. Shout out to you, bro. VJ Scott. And uh, I do. I mean, shoot, you know where I'm at, man. If you ever need anything, and you know, I know where you're at. So. <laughs> uh, you well, know. Oh yes. Don't be. You know. Let's Move up. Uh, oh, yeah. Move up. All right. Yeah. So, before we go, uh, shout out to everybody. Man. <laughs> shout out to the 757. Uh, stay safe during the quarantine. You know, it's your boy, Frames with a Frame Show. And I've been in here chilling with non rated beats. Oh. And, uh, yeah, y'all make sure to get at him if you want some beats, man. And, uh, hey, get him while you can because for long he's going to be gone. And then prices might go up. Yes, sir. So, all right. We'll see you next time, bro.